Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I've had a lovely letter from Tracy who lives in the UK and she wants me to share this with you because she said it's a fantastic idea. Now they're called lavender antibacterial antiviral skeleton or leaf soaps. Now let me just explain. These are the little skeleton leaves. Can you see those? I'll put them beside me. I bought these at my floral wholesaler but I did notice them at the $2 Chinese Emporium shop. So um, you just have a wee hunt around until you find those. Um, you don't want them too big so you might have to cut them. Now this is what they look like when they're finished. Look at that. A little leaf infused with soap and lavender which is your antibacterial, antiviral um, sort of like qualities. Um, Tracy tells me that her nan showed her how to make these and it's been something that's been given as gifts throughout her family for quite some time. Hold on, just turn that off. But anyway, these are the things that she, she said that you never need to be cut short again when you're out and about and you can find no soap to wash your hands at the public conveniences. They are just truly fantastic. These are the things that you need. You need some pour and melt soap. This is the, the clear glycerine one. And you can also get this little one here, which is sort of like not as translucent. And I actually prefer this because it's a little bit more creamier. You also need some mica powder in a color. Lavender would be beautiful. Um, I'm just going to use a rose and you need 20 drops of the lavender essential oils to put in with it. Now to melt your soap, it's really easy. Easy. you just get your soap like so using a sharp knife and you need for probably about 20 leaves probably about quarter to half a cup and this just gets put into your pan which oops which I've got here and I'm just I've just slowly started to get that melted so that we didn't have to waste too much time now don't put it on too high a heat because you don't want it to be too bubbly which that is right from there take that turn that off and then just add about quarter of of a teaspoon of the mica powder. So I've got a quarter of a teaspoon here or whatever color you want it to be and it, the amount that you use will determine how bright or how um, light you want it to be. Right, that gets, put the lid on everything as you go so you don't have a big mess. I've got a spoon here and I'm just going to slowly just stir that and that was less than quarter of a teaspoon and it's a nice pale shade which is going to be perfect for what I want to achieve today. When you're mixing this, make sure that you do mix it well because all of those little particles have got to be blended well. Look at that beautiful colour, isn't it just gorgeous? Look at that, just fabulous. Right. Take that off the heat and then it's let that cool down just a little bit and then 20 drops and I know that that's 20 drops because I've already measured up that that's how much I can get into there and then keep that, give that another good blend until all of those, oh my goodness it just smells so beautiful. Right, the next thing to do is with your leaves, if they're too, this I think is just a little bit too big, you need them half that size, just get your scissors and then just cut around there to get that lovely leaf shape again. And it's always much easier to have, I'm just making a terrible mess on my floor here, but never mind. Okay, you also need a pan, and what I've done is I've put a little bit of parchment paper into the bottom of there, and the other thing I've done is, so that it doesn't move, is I've just put the tiniest little bit of the melted soap on the bottom of it, so that when it sets, it sets it all hard and strong, so that you don't get any slip. Now, the next thing to do is to keeping that just slightly warm, because you don't actually want it to get a skin on it, which comes quite quickly might I just add. So continue giving that a wee stir and then it's just a matter of dipping your leaf to coat your leaf in the soap and then just hold it up ever so slightly to just get rid of any of the excess which I'm trying to do here and then transfer that and lay that onto the base of your paper, your baking paper or parchment paper lined container. I'll just, now these ones here with the, without the stalk on it I found were quite difficult to work with but we will be patient and it does help to keep the soap on the warmth so that as I said it doesn't get that little bit of a skin on it and if they don't all cover up it doesn't really matter. Lay those onto there and then once I got these all done or once you've got yours all done what I suggest you do is to just take them and place them into the fridge for probably about five to ten minutes and they will set. Okay so I'll just do this last one here 
Right, and then just leave those until they're set. And the other great thing I love about this pour and melt soap is you can actually get these little wee molds here and you can, I love this one at the bottom, and the, and underneath of this it's got 100% handmade. But that's one of the little soaps that I made. So if you didn't want to do the leaves, you could perhaps make little ones of these. But what I love about these is when you are caught short, you just need to wet your hands and then just rub them up. And as you're rubbing, the soap will transfer from there and you can just discard your little leaf and then um, next time you cut caught short you can get another one and what I've been doing with for my friends is I've just been getting a whole heap of the little leaves and I put them into a little cellophane bag like so and then they can just be in your handbag so that if you are short, you're never going to have dirty hands because you won't be short because you'll have your little soap. I think that these would be lovely as little teacher's gifts at the end of the year or for friends or to put into a little hamper. Fantastic idea. So Wendy, or oh, was it Wendy? Yes, no, it was Tracy. Tracy, thank you so much. That was a fantastic idea. I hope you all enjoy that. Drop me a line and let me know how you got on. Or if you've got any other kind of surface that these could work equally as well on, please let me know and I'll share it with everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll see you another day.